What's up, everybody? Welcome to our second episode of the House of Blue. My name is Allie, and this is Blue. We have had an overwhelming response from our first episode. So, from our family to yours, we want to say thank, thank you. you. We have had a lot of questions about the amazing artwork for the show. Well, our son Gunner has been hard at work creating all the beautiful designs for the show. You are amazing, Gunner, and we love you so big. Speaking of amazing, we have heard our fans loud and clear. Everyone's favorite segment is none other than the kids' table. Please welcome the stars of the show and the stars of our home, Gunner and Tegan. Welcome to Kids' Table Episode 2. We're going to have a dance party today. <laughs> Yeah, hip hop. Now that we why don't we do a massa? Hit it, DJ Salsa. slightly obsessed with the kids table and the creativity that our kids bring every day. Last episode our kiddos performed a trick shot but the trick shot master yeah it's still this guy. Check out this video of Blue and Victor Viking performing an amazing feat up in Minnesota. This is the video of the day. Everyone always has the same question about that video. How long did that take? Well, the answer might surprise you. It actually only took 12 minutes and 68 shots for Blue to make that toss. So shout out to Victor Viking for lending a hand and a horn, I guess. Let's turn it over to our dog Luna for the joke of the day. What happens when it rains cats and dogs? You could step in a Poodle. <laughs> poodle. My mom was a poodle. Oh, that is funny and so true. Silly puppy. Thank you, Luna. Now it's time for another mascot mm -hmm, to take over the show. Let's travel back up to Minnesota to catch up with our dear friend from the Minnesota Twins. This is TC Bear with the Mascot Minute. <laughs> talented bear. Thank you TC Bear for making that video and for all this gear for the family. Thank you for this. We love you buddy. We love you buddy. And we can't wait to see you soon. And we can't, can't wait, wait to, to see you soon. soon. For our last segment, Blue heads out to a farm to find out exactly how milk goes from a farm to a milk carton. This is Did You Know? On today's episode of Fuel Up to Play 60, Blue is on a mission to discover how milk goes from farm to our lunchroom tables. His first stop is to Kelsey Farms to meet Amy and Joe Kelsey and learn about the milking process. 
This is milk, farm to calf -ateria. So Blue, we're gonna go see the baby. <laughs> All of our cows live in these freestall barns. Um, they spend most of their day out here. So three times a day, they'll go over to the milking parlor to get milked, and the rest of the day, they're hanging out in the barns. So a few things we wanna focus on in here is keeping the cows as comfortable as we can, especially on a really hot day like this. So we have fans, water sprinklers, we have shade over them. They even have water beds to sleep on. We feed what's called a total mixed ration. So when we come in in the morning, we literally will go to the computer and sort of print out uh, what I like to refer to as a recipe card um, to make sure we put all the right ingredients in. Um, there's about seven ingredients in a cow's diet. All of those are located out here in what we call our kitchen. Okay, the main ingredient is corn silage. We also feed alfalfa haylage, alfalfa hay, um, soybean meal, and then some other ingredients that are in the smaller tanks. Um, we'll mix the feed in this feed truck and then we drive that through the barns and we'll deliver the feed to the cows. Our milking parlor is a double 16 herringbone. So we bring 32 in at a time. They're in this room for about 10 or 12 minutes and as they finish, they go right back out to the freestyle barn where they came from. Um, what you noticed here when you first came in, when the cows will walk in, we want to clean and prep their udder. So we dip an iodine-based solution on the udder and we wash that back off. Then we hook up the milking machine. Um, we are measuring that milk as it comes out, and an average cow will give around eight gallons per day. All that milk goes into the room next door into a large tank that's refrigerated. Um, our tank holds around 8,000 gallons, and every two days we empty this tank and it goes for processing. To learn how milk is processed, Blue travels to the Prairie Farms bottling plant in Anderson, Indiana. As soon as the milk arrives from the farm, a sample is taken. That sample goes through several tests to ensure that it is safe for us to drink. The truck is hooked up and milk is pumped into silos. The milk passes through these lines to the presses. Here, the milk is heated and cooled. This process is called pasteurization. Once the milk is pasteurized, it heads to the school milk machine. Milk cartons are loaded into the machine by an operator, and then the machine folds the cartons, fills them with milk, then seals them at the top. Once the milk is dated, the cartons are loaded in crates. The crates ride on another conveyor belt system to be banded together and placed on pallets so they're ready to ship. But before the milk made it to a truck, Blue insisted on tasting the final product. The rest of this milk will be loaded onto the truck and sent to schools so students like you can drink it tomorrow. And now you know how milk goes from farm to your calf ateria. I never knew so much work went into a carton of milk. Thank you to all our dairy farmers and all our farmers who provide so much for us every day. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. If you enjoyed the show, please hit that subscribe button or follow these social media accounts to see our next episode and much, much more. On behalf of the Indianapolis Colts, Blue, and our family, my name is Allie. We hope you have an amazing day and we can't wait to see you tomorrow from the House of Blue.